Hey, what's up, YouTube? So on uh, one of my videos, I've been getting some comments. That was the uh, how to ride motorcycles, like tips for short people. And one of the biggest concerns is backing up out of parking spaces or turning your motorcycle around. Uh, much short riders have problems reaching the ground sometimes. Their legs aren't long enough and it, it's hard to just muscle the bike backwards. So what you can do is, um, this only works for sport bikes, by the way, but let's say you need to go that way. Your bike's facing this way, you can't reach the ground. Just get off your bike and um, I like to turn my handlebars all the way to the right. Not everyone does that, but it helps me out. And then you grab your handlebar and grab somewhere firm. I like to grab the rear foot peg and you simply pick your bike up onto the kickstand like so. And once it's just balance it on the kickstand, don't try to make yourself work too hard. And once it's on the kickstand, letting all the weight rest on the kickstand, you could just simply walk it around and reverse it the other way and set it down, there you go, you can ride off. Now, as for cruisers, they're not as easy as sport bikes, you can't simply pick them up and balance them on the kickstands, um, and even though they are shorter, people do have problems backing these up because they are so heavy, um, especially for our short riders where we can't fully reach the ground, we're still tiptoeing, so again, it's hard for us to muscle back, especially up towards inclines. Um, as for turning it around, you're simply just going to have to back up and then turn and go forward and back up again and keep repeating that until you're turned around. But to aid with the backing up, um, what you could do is instead of just simply pushing the bike backwards, you could, um, you could there's a technique where you hold the front brake down and you compress the front forks like this. And if you notice when you press it down, it rebounds back upwards. So when it, when it rebounds, you let go of your front brake and the bike will push itself backwards. Here, um, here's how you do it. So you push down, let go, and the bike pushes itself backwards. Push down, let go, the bike will push itself backwards. Um, when you're ready, then you can simply turn with your bike on and ride it. My bike's off right now, but, um, and push it forward. And then we need to back up again. Just simply keep repeating this until you're backed up enough. And when you're backed up enough, then um, just keep repeating this whole process until your bike is facing the other way. Um, that will definitely help you shorter riders back up out of parking spaces um, when you can't fully reach the ground. and Or for you guys that just are having trouble pushing your bike backwards, this technique does also work for sport bikes, not just for cruisers. So if you ever find yourself needing to back up an incline, then this is a... Um, a good option to use. Alright guys, for this last tip, um, it's kind of a creative way to back up your motorcycle, so you guys might want to take some notes. So what you do is, you straighten out your handlebars, and you lift your bike up, so it's uh, pretty much straight up, and then you push your bike back, like this. <laughs> now, um, Obviously, I'm kind of joking around with you guys, um, but it's weird. I've noticed that not a lot of people like to do that. Um, instead, they'd rather struggle trying to push their bike back with their legs, like sitting on it. And I don't really know why. I guess it's uncool to push your bike back or something. I don't know. But as you can see, it works. If you want your bike to go back, push it backwards. Um, and yeah, that's really all I have to say about backing up motorcycles and all that stuff. Now, um, I know I haven't been making videos recently, but... I got a question from one of my viewers on how it was like, uh, for those of you who don't know, I started on this motorcycle, this was my first motorcycle, um, it's a 1700cc cruiser, so he was asking what it's like starting on a big bike rather than um, the traditional route of starting on a 250cc, a 300cc, um, so I can give you guys my opinion, again I'm not a professional rider, I'm not anything like that, So, uh, but I can give you my opinion on it. What I've learned, what, I've, what like my experiences riding on a big bike um, versus starting on a small one, and um, also I can talk about this bike. This is Yamaha R1, a 1000cc Super Sport. I know a lot of you guys, especially the younger guys, you guys like uh, you know, it's, it's like the 16 year old kid, you know, wants to get his motorcycle license. What does he want to ride? He wants to ride a 1000cc Super Sport bike, and um, so yeah, I'll give you my opinion on that too. Um, how it is riding this bike versus a cruiser versus small bikes and yeah I look forward to making that video so um, yeah be sure to check it out thanks again for watching guys and I'll see you next time